We're here at Glendale Harley Davidson. I'm picking up my bike. As you guys know, there was something wrong with it and it was just a battery. I guess the battery on that thing has never been changed and it was time for it to go. So I got a new battery. They're just finishing up on it and I'll be on my way. But since I'm here, I'm gonna test ride a motorcycle. Bam! This guy. This is the 2018 Softail Fat Bob with the 114 motor. So I'm waiting for my guy to get here and I'm gonna hop on this bike and I'll let you guys know how it feels. Here we go. Make a series of rights and everything like that. If the bike starts to feel like it's a little overcompass or anything like that, give me a simple wave, we'll pull over, have somebody pick up the bike. Okay. There's gonna be times in the test ride where I'm gonna give you a little bit of space, that's because I'm trying to let you go ahead and throw the bike out. Okay. Cool. Do I have this thing on? There is gonna be one part where I'm gonna go like this, and that's to indicate to come over um, in the same lane, the same spot as me, because there's gonna be a pothole coming that way. Okay. Can you can you help me out right here? Yeah. I can fucking get it. Thank you. First impressions. I can flat bottom. Ooh, the clutch is much softer than the V-Rod. Uh, engages right away, unlike the V-Rod where it engages towards the end of the clutch pull. All right. Ooh. Pay attention. I could already feel this thing has some power. I don't know if he'll test, let me test it out. How much power it has. I want to full throttle this bad girl. All right, here we go. Here's some open road, sorta. Okay, it definitely has some pull. But right away, I could tell it is not as powerful as my V-Rod. So let's just get that out of the way. The V-Rod has more power. That's what I wanted to know. Next, let's talk about comfort. The drag bars, they tend to give you a slighter bit of a lean to the front. Not a big one. Not like the V-Rod, but slightly. This does have a digital speedometer, which is pretty cool. But the tack is still analog, no problem. It's a very nice looking bike. The suspension, I'm assuming, is a little bit better. But then again, the V-Rod has no suspension. Uh, this also is a cable clutch, it's not a wet clutch. It feels like it likes to be in a higher RPM range. But the comfort on this thing is there. Something like this, you can go pretty good distances on. You don't only need a touring bike to go far. You're not really straining much sitting on this. Another thing is, it kind of just drops off right after the handlebars, if that's your thing. A lot of Harleys, you could, you could see the headlight or you could see the front fender. Not this. After the handlebar, it's nothing but road. You could definitely whip this thing around. It's a lot lighter than my bike, but it doesn't have that power. Maybe for the first second, it's got the same pickup and then it just drops. But that doesn't mean it doesn't have any power. This has got plenty of power for this kind of bike. You're not out there racing people with this thing. I've been on many Harleys. Street Glide, Road Glide, Dynas, Sportsters, Street 750. The way I would describe this bike is it has a lot of the traditional Harley look and it does have a traditional Harley sound but there's a lot of improvements also for instance a 114 cubic inch motor which is their highest output motor so far factory not the V-Rod it's fast but it's not the V-Rod where are you going dude pay attention I could see a dual disc brake I was just I was just thinking how touchy the brakes are. 
Probably just as touchy as the throttle, but that makes sense, especially with these dual disc brakes on there. So I don't know if this is an aftermarket brake or if they're all like this, but I'm used to my foot being a little bit of a higher angle, but it's more of a flat foot on a brake and less of an angle. More of a floorboard kind of feel, but it's not. It's not floorboards, obviously. It is a very comfortable bike though. And it's got that back lip to keep you in place for that high speed. The gear change is also really smooth. You don't really hear clunking. I'd have to say this is definitely one of their best bikes that they have right now. All right, that's the test ride. Very cool bike. Oh, it's one of those kickstands that's a little sketchy. It doesn't go fully out. All right, don't fall on me. That thing is nice. Yeah. yeah. I love that bike because it's one of my favorite out the front. So if you're interested, Glendale Harley has this bike for sale. Come check it out. Give it a test ride. I thought it was awesome. I'm going to get the fruit out of here.